Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing my 19 goals for 2019. I'm dedicating this year to self-love, self-acceptance, and self-growth. I know it sounds selfish, right? But no, really. This year is going to be about pushing myself to be my best self. That's what my mantra has been for 2018 is being obsessed with being the best version of yourself. So I'm bringing that into 2019. So if you guys are new to my channel, thank you guys for stopping by and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and jump into the 19 things that I have planned for this year. So number one on my list is to remember to always focus on you. Like I feel like making sure that you're okay is the most important thing to learn and I've kind of figured that out going throughout the past year and that's something I need to focus on more this year. Number two, so now that I've learned to accept my anxiety and figure out how to manage it, I need to figure out how to manage the little attitude that I get when I'm like under anxiety because anxiety is just like on a whole nother level for me and it's pretty stressful to deal with so that's something that I need to learn how to figure out is like being stressed out from the anxiety number three another thing that my anxiety makes me feel is that I can't take my time with things like I feel like I have to rush to get things done and that's not the case I want to be able to take this year to kind of slow down and take my time with things and working on projects this year. I really want to take my time and put all my energy into it and not let my anxiety be like, okay, we need to rush this out because that's like how I felt in the past is that I need to rush to get things done instead of taking my time and just breathing. Number four, one thing that I'm extremely horrible at and I will admit this is taking care of my body and exercising. For some reason, like I've I've tried to do the whole gym thing and I've tried and tried again and I just can't get myself to do the gym. Like the gym gives me major anxiety and so I'm learning to take things to home and do things at the house. So that's something I want to put into my daily routine is just a little exercise every day that I can do that way I can improve my health and well-being number five so this year I want to be more healthy I know that I've already cut out meat out of my diet but um my eating habits aren't that great like I still take I still get takeouts for lunch and stuff like that so I need to be able to be more restrictive with my health and start eating healthier every day instead of getting takeouts. Six. So this is one that I've been struggling with a lot and it's something that I wanna break the mold this year. And that is that I want to improve on being more myself. Like I know that I'm able to kind of relay that through the camera, but in person I'm just like super shy not shy but I'm super reserved and my social anxiety makes it perceived that I'm shy but I'm not shy like I have so much to say and when it comes to actually saying it I don't say it like I have all these thoughts in my head and I'm just like okay why can't I talk so that's something that I want to improve on this year number seven I really want to go to the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge when it opens up this year in Disneyland because Star Wars is like one of my favorite things so I'm really excited that they're building that and I really want to go see it once it's done. Number eight, I still have not been to Universal Studios or Harry Potter World for that matter so this year I want to try to go to Harry Potter World really bad because it's it's one of the things that I've been wanting to do for so long and I haven't been able to go do it so that's on my bucket list. Nine, I want to be able to go to at least five concerts this year. So that is my goal. 
Number 10, I want to get better at face painting. Like I've already got all the tools and stuff that I need for it. I just want to really strengthen my skills this year with that. Number 11, like I have, okay. So I really have a strong passion for music and it's like one of the things that is always my go-to for my pick-me-up when I'm at my like weakest points. Before I even got into makeup, I really loved playing guitar and I had a few covers up on my channel. Like if you go back in my history, you'll find those covers. I know they're not the greatest, I'm not the greatest, but I really do love playing with my guitar. Like it's just such an outlet for me. I really want to incorporate guitar covers and things like that back into my channel and that way I can kind of um, strengthen my skills as a guitar player. So that's another thing that I have planned for this year. Number 12. I am a makeup artist here in Las Vegas so I really want to build up my clientele this year. So if you guys are needing makeup done for anything whether it be for a wedding, bridal, homecoming, prom, anything like that, senior portraits, maternity shoots, just message me. I'm like super inexpensive and I'm here in the Las Vegas area and I do drive to you. Lashes and makeup are included in my prices. Feel free to message me if you guys need makeup at any time. 13. I am the worst when it comes to getting ready in the morning. I literally just do the bare minimum when it comes to getting ready for work. Like I will literally just brush my hair, brush my teeth, wash my face, and then get dressed and that's it. Um, but this year I want to try to like take my little extra time to get ready to look my best, to feel my best, and perform my best. That's something I kind of want to implement in my morning routines. 14. By the end of this year I really want to use 90 like the products that i use 95 percent of that i want to be cruelty free like i've already switched like my body wash and shampoo in my bathroom and i've switched a lot of like my makeup products and stuff to cruelty free and that's what i try to use every day is cruelty free but there's still some items that i have from previous purchase to the prior years that are not cruelty free that I want to try to use up this year and just get rid of them instead of having them go to waste because they were pretty pricey so I just want to make sure that they don't go to waste and my money didn't go to waste. 15. I would really like to apply for Morphe because there's a Morphe store out here but I don't know I need to Make sure that I have my priorities and stuff straight before I jump into working at a makeup store. 16. This year I really want to do like a hip hop class because I don't know I've always wanted to do like a hip hop dance class like they look so fun and it's something that I've always wanted to do. I think I tried it out once when I was little and I really liked it and that's something that I just want to like pick up again and that would help with exercising daily as well so those kind of go hand in hand number 17 so this kind of goes with the last one so um i really get major anxiety dancing in public and i don't know like i always feel awkward i always feel awkward about it so i'm really hoping that this dance class will help me just get over the awkwardness and anxiety that it gives me 18 so I'm not the hugest fan of heights, but this year I kind of want to jump up, bungee jump off the stratosphere. I know that's pretty crazy. That's, um, it's pretty ridiculous height wise. Um, but a lot of people do it and I think it would be like a nice stress reliever. 19. So the final thing on my list is to do more photo shoots at least every month or so because they really make me feel happy and confident and badass. So I really want to do more of those this year. So that just concludes my 19 goals for 2019. So I ho really hope that you guys enjoyed this list. Leave a comment down below what goals you have for this year. I'm really interested in 
what you guys have planned out for this year so I really want to read those down and I will be responding so make sure to leave a comment down below I will see you guys in my next video I will be posting every Thursday at noon Pacific Standard Time now instead of Sundays I feel like Thursday would work more better with my schedule and, and everything like that so I'm going to be posting on Thursdays now at noon Pacific Standard Time so make sure you guys subscribe to the family so you don't miss any more of those future videos and I hope you guys have an amazing 2019 and I'll see you guys soon bye